What's up guys, today I'm gonna to show you the North South Choke. Let's hit it. What's up guys? So in North South, usually when you enter a north south position, I want one overhook and one underhook. So what that would mean is one of my arms are under one of his and one of my arms are over one of his. And usually when you land in north south, you end up here. If you're in side control, you come from side control and then you pin this arm, giving me my overhook, and this arm comes under, giving me my underhook. So usually when this choke becomes available, it's on the underhook arm, which would be this arm for me, their arm stays low. So if I have, if I'm trying to underhook their arm and their arm stays low, their neck is very exposed in this area. So the first thing I want to do is drop the front of my shoulder right here into the sternum. So I'm here and I drop the front of my shoulder into the sternum. And the second thing is my arm is going to come under his neck. And I've seen it taught a lot of different ways. My preference is actually to leave my hand up because I don't squeeze for this choke. It's all gonna be my body weight. So my shoulder's gonna be forward, my arm comes under, and my thumb is gonna be up in the air. So my shoulder's forward, and my thumb is up in the air. And then from here, the side of the body that's the choking side, which is my right side in this scenario, that hip all the way down to my foot is gonna touch the ground. And then the way that I'm gonna cause more weight is by dropping the rest of my body close to the ground. So here in the front of my shoulder is touching the sternum, but there's no pressure on him because the left side of my body is still really high. So the left side of my body is also going to go low. And the way to finish it is a turn and a walk. And there's the choke. So without him, I have my hand up, my shoulder is low. This is the choking side of my body. So that side sprawls. And then here, I get my entire body low and then I walk as low as I can on them, and it closes off all this gap. Initially, we're here, and there's room, and as we walk and get lower, all that room closes off. So one more time, I'm here in north-south, I'm here in my, my over-under position, and his arm stays low. So the front of my shoulder is gonna come to the sternum, the arm's gonna wrap the neck, thumbs up, and then I get low, and I sprawl and I walk, and there's the tap. It doesn't matter if I have this arm wrapped up or if I have it out, it works in both scenarios. The main thing is what I do with my body weight. 